there's one last thing that I want to talk about in regard to the idea of like copying and pasting or duplicating of, of content and that involves the very last thing from the last video and so in the last video I took the word Amsterdam which you couldn't really read and I added some contrast to the document by adding like an outer glow or a bevel and emboss or a stroke or something like that and it allowed me to uh, kind of make it sit in front of the background and so you could see the word Amsterdam really big and then in the background you kind of have the miscellaneous things that I did in Amsterdam and oh, what what I did was I applied layer effects and layer effects are great because they create these different effects that you probably couldn't get very easily for example on the screen here I have a little heart it's kind of a funky looking heart but I have a heart that I painted and I probably could not figure out how to paint it to look like the second image with all the texture in it but I could use a layer effect that kind of helped me and pushed me in that direction um, why I'm bringing this up is that all the things that we've been talking about so far have this had this idea that you could copy it and paste it and it would be just like it was and now you could use it in some new way but with layer effects you can't copy and paste items you have to copy the entire layer and so if you want to keep something that has these these add-ons attached to it like a bevel and emboss a stroke or an outline you must duplicate the entire layer even if you do not want to use the entire layer and so let me show you what I mean so if we go back to Photoshop, I have created this heart here, just similar to the, the slideshow that I was showing you. Let's make my Photoshop bigger. And uh, I applied some layer effects to it. If we look at the layers panel, you can see that it's a heart. Um, if you look really closely, you can see it's just a plain blue heart. And then I have applied a bevel and emboss with a texture and an outer glow. If I turn those settings off, you can see that I just I painted that with a paintbrush. And if we double click on any of these effects, you can see what I applied, right? So you can see, let me zoom out just a little bit, that I applied a bevel and emboss with a texture and you can see those settings here. You can also see that I applied an outer glow and if I click that you can see what those settings were as well. Um, my point in being this is that if I really like this and I wanted to make a bunch of hearts, at the level that we're at right now, I think that most of you should be at the point where you could say, I totally know how to copy and paste that and make a copy. And so you could use a lasso tool and make a circle like a big circle around it because it's transparent if we get rid of the background it's a transparent background so as long as what I want to copy is inside there you could select it and choose command C or control C to copy you can then create a new layer and then you can paste it but when you paste a selection from a layer that has layer effects the effects are not going to carry through and so if you're trying to make lots of copies of this heart you're not going to make lots of copies of the heart with the texture and so what you need to do, if we get rid of that layer, I can trash that, is you need to right click on the layer and choose to duplicate the layer. Even if you only want part of the heart, it duplicated it. And if I move it, you can see that we have two, two hearts. And so maybe I'm going to make a pattern out of those hearts. And maybe I want to change a color. If I come down to the effects, I could double click on any of the effects. It opens the effects panel. You could do a color overlay. Maybe not red, but maybe we could go with another blue color and we could make varying shades of purple hearts um, but the only way to get those effects to come through when you're when you're copying and pasting per se is to duplicate the layer if you want to get the layer from from this document to a new document which which is really the reasoning in me explaining this sometimes you create cool effects let's say that this is the coolest effect that you've ever created and you want to recreate it in this document here on something else and your option is to try to remember what the settings were or try to click through and mimic it. You could double click on your effects and you could write down all of these settings. You could say I have to do bevel and emboss and texture and I need an inner bevel, smooth, 781%, direction up, size 29, soften zero, yada, 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 all the way down. Repeat that for the color overlay and then repeat that for the outer glow. But that's a lot of work. What you could do is you could drag it and drop it into your new document and so as you hover over the tab of your new document you can bring it in here and if you let it go it will copy your your document your layer into the new document and then you can use it and maybe you have to choose edit free transform to scale it or maybe you didn't even want the heart at all you just wanted those settings and so now you have those settings and so on that heart layer, maybe you were going to paint a circle, and so you use your paintbrush and you paint a circle, 
but because that layer that I'm on has those effects applied, I could create my new shape that mimics all those settings that I didn't want to copy and paste. And then I can use my selection tools and delete the part of the layer that you didn't want. And so I didn't want a heart, but I wanted all the attributes of a heart. And so I was able to copy and paste to get that to get that look and feel without having to do all the long work of writing down all the settings and, and repeating them.